you also have the option to filter by contacts. To do that, enter your search criteria and then change the search type from calls to contacts. Scroll down to the bottom, enter your time frame, remembering to keep it in 90 day increments and click on search. The grid to the left will display the same information as it did for calls, but for contacts, there are two additional features, transfer contacts and change outcome. Once you've selected a group of contacts, the change outcome option will become available. When you select change outcome, you will have the option to change the outcome to new, which will resubmit these contacts to the dialer. When you do that, you'll need to answer a few questions. The first is, do you want to delete any associated callbacks? If you don't want callbacks that have previously been scheduled for this lead to happen, you will want to select delete associated callbacks. The second is, do you want these contacts to be given maximum priority in the hopper? And last, you have the option to keep the total calls and recycle counters for these contacts. This is related to the max try and limit that you set either on the database level or on the campaign. So what this means is that if selected, all those contacts that have reached the maximum limit of tries won't be called. You can also select another outcome other than new for these contacts. To do that, you'll select choose another outcome and then choose the outcome or outcome groups. And then you have the option to delete associated callbacks here as well. Once configured, click change. It will change the outcome of those 13 contacts to whatever you've selected here. You can also transfer these contacts to another database. To do that, click on transfer contacts and you will have the option to move these contacts to an existing database or to a new database. If you would like to send them to an existing database with Ingo contact, select the database and then choose the outcome you want to assign these contacts. You also need to decide whether or not you want to duplicate these contacts so that they exist in both databases or just move them from this database to the other one. To create a new database for these contacts, click on new database. You'll give your database a name, select the campaign where it will be working and select the outcome from the available outcomes. You need to decide if you want this database to work exclusively with this campaign or if you want it to be open and available for other campaigns to use. You have the same option here to duplicate the contacts so that they are available in both databases or migrate these contacts to the new database you are creating. Once configured, click transfer and you'll receive a notification that the contacts have been moved. Remember that if you click on the contact in the grid, you have the same access to the contact history as you did with calls.